Hello friends, welcome back, hope you're doing well. Today I'm in Luminar Neo and I am talking about two tools that I use on every single photo. It makes no difference what kind of photo it is. It could be a landscape, it could be a cityscape, it could be a street shot, it could be a portrait, it could be an HDR, it could be a picture of your dog. It makes no difference. It uh, The type of photo to me has no bearing on how I start and edit and the two tools that I always start with because they're the most powerful tools in Luminar for adjusting the light. We run around with these little boxes that capture light. We're talking about the light. We're chasing light. We're interested in the light. Everything's all about the light. And so for me, I always start with how do I adjust the light to get it balanced? Or maybe I'm going high contrast. It doesn't matter. But regardless, I'm always adjusting the light when I start my edit. These two tools are the tools that I use. I want to give you two examples, a cityscape and a landscape. But like I said, try it on any and every kind of photo. See how it works for you. I trust that you'll be quite pleased with it. Starting right here with this city shot i'm in develop raw and that is tool number one it is where i always start it doesn't matter now i'm using luminar as a standalone which means i have a raw file here because i'm using luminar as a standalone whereas if you start let's say in lightroom and as a plugin you would come over with probably a tiff file in which case it would not say develop raw i personally prefer to start in luminar with the raw file but regardless just wanted to point out that small difference and what i do here as i said is i am manipulating the light i'm looking at the histogram and I'm trying to decide how do I want the light to look in my photo? How can I balance that? I might come down to curves. Curves is super powerful, an amazing tool. I've got white balance here, so I have all this control over color and the overall look and feel of the image. Maybe I'm gonna do a little something like that, maybe a little bit vibrant as well. And you can see I'm already making a pretty good impact on the photo. I'm gonna come in here, maybe give it a little sharpening. Maybe I wanna go back to the highlights and pull those down just a little bit more and maybe a slight bump in shadows let me show you the impact that's what the photo started like not a bad shot overall pretty decent light but needs some work that's where the photo is now so starting with develop massive amount of control and that's why i always start with develop there's a second tool which i mentioned and that is super contrast and you see me use this tool all my videos just about because it's tool number two it really ranks that high for me and again because it's about contrast so if you think about it contrast is a difference between the dark parts and the lighter parts and the of the photo and super contrast as you can see here gives you three different tonal areas the highlights the midtones and the shadows and allows you to adjust the light in each of those tonal areas so you can see i can impact those highlights pretty well which is that sky so maybe i want to pull that back a little bit the midtones are going to be pretty present around the middle and the lower part of the photo so as i'm dragging that to the left and increasing that midtone contrast that shadow or not shadow but that reflection area is getting a bit brighter so it's giving me more of a balance look overall which is kind of what I'm going for in this image and then of course I have shadows so again I can further brighten that or I can create a little bit higher contrast in the shadows got the nice pop in the reflection a little bit of dark shadow in the trees especially in the reflection but I was able to balance out the sky quite a bit as you can see here and that tool has made a pretty significant impact from that to that and if you look at the photo overall that's how I started you know a bit flatter of course because it's an unedited raw file but now I'm there and honestly you could call that an edit using two tools and I didn't really have to do anything complicated. It's super powerful using these two tools in combination. Just gives you massive amount of control over your image again before and after. So that's a cityscape example. Let me also show you a landscape example. Okay, here's a lovely sunset landscape from Iceland. And again, I'm in develop raw. Always, always, always. I can't say that enough. Always start in develop raw uh, or develop if you're coming from a, a, a different host. But again, I'm just going to go in here and I just kind of play around with the light. And again, look at the histogram. It's obviously a bit darker. So we're going to kind of move things around and try to shift that a little bit. I don't fully edit by the histogram. I like to use it as a guide. But for me, I prefer to edit based on how I feel and how I I want the image to look overall. So that means I'm not going uh, with any scientific method. I guess that's a way of putting it. This is a beautiful sunset. Maybe I want to warm that up a little bit. Maybe I want to do a little bit of a tint, maybe a little bit of vibrance. And don't forget in curves, which I'm not going to go into here, but you have the three different color channels as well. If you want to add some additional color, maybe I want some magenta here. So on the green channel, I could just take the midtones and slightly move them a little bit to give it a tiny bit of magenta without overdoing it. And yes, I see the spots in the sky. Yes, 
this, you can remove those automatically. In Luminar, I did not do that for this video started, of course. But if you take a look, there it is before I got started with Develop Raw. And there it is now already a massive improvement. And Super Contrast to come in and further refine the light. Just really, I, like I said, it just gives me so much control. I really love it. And I think it's an incredible tool. Maybe I want to brighten that sky a little bit. Let's play with the mid-tones and kind of see what we like. And let's play with the shadows. Maybe I want to create a tiny bit more contrast there so that that rock in the foreground really pops against a little bit darker sand. And maybe I'm going to pull back the highlights contrast just a little bit and also play with those mid-tones a tiny bit. Maybe something like that. I recommend experimenting. There's nothing scientific at all about my method here. It is pure experimentation. But if you look at Super Contrast, that's before I've used it and that's after. So if I close this tool and show you the before and after, that's my base raw file completely unedited. And there it is now after two tools. So you can make a massive impact using Develop Raw and Super Contrast together as the starting point for your image edit. Like I said, they work every time on every single photo because again, it's about controlling the light. And yes, you can do a lot more than just control the light in Develop Raw. You've got all the color channels and saturation and vibrance, and you've got some basic denoise, and you've got sharpening. All that stuff comes into play, and I'm not at all saying ignore that. I'm mostly talking about why I start with these two tools, because they help you refine the light, adjust the light, massage the light, control the light, whatever you want to uh, describe it as. It's all about, for me, adjusting the light and making sure that you get the base photo looking good. Now, from here, I highly recommend you go in and use other tools to customize the edit to your liking. Maybe you want to do some color work. Maybe you want to do some details or some structure. Maybe you want to use Relight, which is a nice complement to these tools as well. The list goes on and on. There's a lot of possibilities, but always start. And this is how I do it. May or may not be your preference, but for me, I prefer to start Develop Raw and then Super Contrast because I get massive control over the light, which for me sets the stage for the rest of my edits. That's the two tools that work on every photo and that I use uh, as a starting point in every image edit in Luminar Neo. Hope it helps my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with more videos. You guys take care. I'll see you soon. And until then, adios.